<laughs> Around 2,700 families in Riepie commune could be left without water if something is not done about its drying wells and ponds. Local authorities are trying to help. They've dug 130 wells throughout the commune, but only 30 can be used because the rest are contaminated with arsenic. This year, water isn't reaching the ponds or the creeks, so people are only using well water. At every seminar, we're educating people about how to use water safely. We don't want them to use water that contains arsenic. We want them to use water that comes from a cement-lined well. As the dry season approaches, the question on many villagers' minds is not only, is there safe drinking water, but simply, is there water at all? Some are transporting water from other villages. Some are buying water transported by truck. And others are simply leaving the commune. People in this village have been short of water for four months now since December, and now it's March. The price of water is rising. A container costs $2.50. There are many people and cows in this village, and we don't know exactly what to do. When we dug the well, the water came out very yellow. I don't know what to do. Maybe the people in the Riepie commune will just die. Analysts say the shortages are caused by global warming and improper resource management. They and local villagers are calling on the government to create an emergency plan. I want the government to help with the water problem in our village. It's very dry now. There is no rain coming down. If it rained, then at least we would have some water to use. Drought is a frequent problem in Cambodia and other Southeast Asian countries. And government officials acknowledge that water shortages contribute to worsening poverty in the region.